never fought us. Not us united. Hey guys, welcome to Indie Wednesday. I'm Jared. Uh, this is Comics League. And today we are going to talk about, as I've hyped up for a long time, Crossover Volume 2. Uh, and this volume is entitled The Ten Cent Play. This sort of establishes a lot of context around like a lot of the a, a lot of what we've been talking about with the books Let me turn my light on like okay so here's what i mean by that all right so for those of you that don't know crossover is the story of this event called the, the event or the crossover where comic books explode into the real world literally and what's cool about this series that i really like is since it's image a lot of image characters show up in this book in the real world. And it's actually really, really cool how they do this. Now, this is written by Donnie Cates and Jeff Shaw. And it's drawn by Jeff Shaw. And it's like one of the coolest series I've ever read. But before I get into this, I just want to remind you guys to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And hit that little bell button. Because that way, you get notified whenever I drop more of my killer content. So while we got that out of the way, let's get into the book. So the f this book starts off in the most ridiculous way possible where, okay, a running theme throughout this is that there's something going around killing former comic creatives. I say former because a lot of these guys are in hiding. And then we find Chip Zdarsky, who is being hunted. But here's the funny part. He's being protected by Chip Zdarsky. Yes, you heard that, that right. Now, what I mean by that is because in the book Sex Criminals that he uh, worked on, he's a character in it. So he's appeared in there. So it's Chip Zdarsky protecting Chip Zdarsky. And when they're sleeping in a hotel room, they spoon. It's so creepy. And then the being that is going to kill, uh, the, that kills comic creative shows up. I'm not going to spoil who the being is, but I'll, we'll do it later. So, and I like how this book has previously in crossover and it's like every page up to this point in like a, like a cover image. It's so cool. I like that. Then we open up and in this prison that I believe we talked about in volume one, we have this, this individual who's like drawing comic book pages and such and, to, and supposedly narrating the story. It'll be revealed who that is later. It is very meta. So then we... We cut back to Ellie and Ryan. And what's interesting is we just discovered at the end, the cliffhanger at the end of volume one was that Ellie is a comic book character. She's from the comic book world. And what's interesting is that she's, she's not a pre-existing. What I mean is that she's not a pre-existing image character. That would be like, she's not in like Savage Dragon's book or something like that. It'll be revealed in a second. So she's in, I'll tell you, She's in this image book. So because she's in this book, she's in this story about, about image characters. So it's super meta. Super Donny Cates, as a matter of fact. So the, the cops show up, and, and, and the cops are actually characters from uh, Bendis' series Powers. And yes, yeah, so that's about the only time I'll ever mention Brian Michael Bendis. So they're taken by, by essentially the police. And then... That's, that's basically the, the key points of chapter one. Chapter two uh, is when, uh, I, I love this, Ellie's interrogated by those two cops from uh, from Powers, and she's like, I'm not playing this game. I, I know how this works. I've read the comic. I'm not playing your game. It's so good. I love this sort of self-aware take on comics that this book has. Well, and then a, a, another um, comic book creator was killed, and this time it's Scott Snyder. Dang it. Chapter three opens up. We get a little more information on on Pendleton, and he's like the. I hesitate to say Nick Fury of this series. It's just because um, I only say that because he's like the the morally ambiguous government agent, and then he's investigating all these comic book like, what's the word? Um, 
occurrences. And then what we get, what's actually really cool, is more is uh, the constant powers. I, f I forget their names for some reason, but they actually get Brian B Michael B B Bendis in to, to the interrogation room, and it's drawn in the style of powers. That is really cool how they do that. And uh, it's basically a, a lot of stuff. And then it's revealed that that individual that I told you that was like sort of narrating the story, it's Donny Cates. So yes, Donny Cates wrote himself into his book, which is really funny. Chapter four, it's just, it's just more ba background on Donny Cates, so, like a flashback talking about how Donny got to this point. And it's basically saying that he was brought in because he could influence the world and what what that was supposed to be was he can write an ending and end all this right now but he's not in control of the story we'll reveal that at the end of this volume so then we get on um, this and so then we find out who is the person that's been killing comic creators and that's negan from the walking dead so apparently his motivation and we discover this because he goes and kills uh robert kirkham Kirkman, and the reason why um, that Neeg has been killing comic creators because he's like, you do all these horrible things to us for your for your own amusement and for your own profit. So you know what, we're done. Which I, honestly, that is a really cool motivation for a character, and it's one that you sympathize with because how would you like to be like to to be a, essentially a a object for someone else's like entertainment? It, 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 that would get really annoying real real fast. Superman's hand fell off on my hot toy. Sorry about that. Okay. So, at this point, Negan kills Kirkham. And then, moving on, then we get uh, to, uh, um, to Donnie Cates essentially explaining that, hey, I'm not in control of the story. But what he does to escape, he creates an exclamation balloon grabs it and stabs someone with it that's how meta this whole thing is so he can influence it like he's actually writing a comic book then he goes and and gets ellie and they have this epic battle against negan and obviously our heroes win that's and the key part of the story is that he goes hey i was never really influencing if you want to end this see killing me won't uh, just killing me is not going to end this whole scenario you have to kill Jeff Shaw. And that's what the ending page is, is them saying, kill Jeff Shaw. So that's really interesting. And I love, I love volume two specifically because I like the, the meta narrative and D Donnie case basically uses sort of like a, a biography sort of idea where he used like, he was uh, writing to like cope with trauma and stuff. And I really identify with that. I like, that's one of the reasons why I like Donnie case also because See, with Donny Cates, he's one of those guys that will write something just because it's cool. And to a certain degree, that's what comics is. It's cool stuff. So that's why I really like that series. Plus, I like series for some reason, if it's like even movies or anything like that, where comic stuff comes into the real world. It's really cool. And I like how like we would react to this whole um, – to this whole – to this scenario specifically, because it's exactly we would have these beings that we would have these groups that are these religious fundamental groups that are like Wortham was right, comics are, are the devil's work. Because we kind of still have that today, so it's not getting any better. So that's volume two. All in all, I give the series a 10 out of 10 because I very much liked it. I love Donnie Kate's writing, as in the case of his Venom run, Death of the Inhumans, and such. It's really, really fun. Now, before I, I let you guys go, I want to let you know that we are going to have a bonus Indie Wednesday interview coming up tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow, but um, it, it'll be up on Saturday. It'll be a crossover with my Under Two Capes podcast. We'll be interviewing an indie creator, so that'll be really fun. And then I'll be on Nerdette's show on Thursday. So at, by the time this gets uploaded tomorrow, I'm going to debate with her the the possibility of like the sell the Snyder verse to Netflix uh, hashtags. So that should be really fun. So on that note, stay heroic, everyone. Oh, drop in the comments. What indie book you guys would like to see featured uh, I, because I always take suggestions. I will get to them eventually. And 
A hundred percent. And honestly, you guys help me because I get to be exposed to all these fantastic stories that I normally would never have because normally I'm like a Marvel DC strictly guy, but starting the show, it really opened my eyes to all these different series and other ways to follow my favorite creators. So on that note, stay heroic and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.